Hello cherry lovers, I'm back and I have a great lemon cake recipe. Stick around. Okay, today I want to share with you an amazing lemon cake recipe. Now our uncle, his name is Jack, he went to a state fair and he was a judge and they judged the different cakes that were made there and this particular lemon cake won first place and what my uncle did was he asked the lady who uh, actually baked this cake at the state fair and it won first prize if she could give him the recipe and so a couple of weeks after the state fair was over she emailed him the address and he in turn gave me the recipe now I always baked lemon cakes which because it was my mom's favorite but when I started baking this recipe it became my mom's favorite remember it won first place at the state fair and it is totally moist and amazing now the first things you have over here let's start from the beginning I want you to preheat your oven to 350 make sure that you grease and flour your bunt cake pan and the recipe calls for one box of Duncan Hines Lemon Supreme. Remember, it's Lemon Supreme cake mix. Also, one box of lemon flavor. It doesn't have to be Jello brand. Off brand is fine. Lemon flavored Jello mix. Also, uh, it calls for. Uh, you can use vegetable oil, but we use canola oil because it's a little lower in saturated fat. But you add two thirds cup of oil. Now, what you do is you bring, the first thing you want to do is bring your water to a boil. Uh, it's three-fourths cup of boiling water and simply add in your jello while it's boiling. Make sure you let the water come to a boil. That's three-fourths cup of water and just stir it until it's completely dissolved. I'm going to turn that off. That's hot enough. And continue to stir it. Your water is boiling. Remove it from the heat. Stir until that jello is completely dissolved. And after I get done dissolving this, I'll be right back to show you how to put the ingredients together. Okay, now we're going to mix the ingredients for the cake. You want to first take your Duncan Hines Lemon Supreme cake mix, mix that into your bowl, and then you want to add your jello. It's cool. It doesn't have to be, you know, like cool, cool. Just, you know, where it's not really warm anymore and not hot. You want to get all of that jello down into your bowl. Okay. And then we're going to add our three quarter cups of oil. Let me make sure that that's three quarter cups of oil. Actually, this is two thirds cup of oil because I took uh, one third cup and one third cup and poured in here. So that's two third cup of oil. And I'm going to add uh, in the comments the recipe just in case. So you'll make sure you get that correct. And we'll get all that out. Okay, now the next thing is sort of like the recipe that I shared with you on the pound cake. You have four eggs that you're going to add in here. And you're going to add one egg at a time, and you gotta make sure you mix it well after each egg. Lock that in. Just on one. We're gonna let that mix. Now remember, we got four eggs here. We're gonna add one egg at a time, and then you'll add each egg in succession and I'm going to add each of the eggs and then I'll be right back. Okay, now we're down to the last egg, the fourth egg. I added them individually and I wanted to remind you at the beginning of the video, I did not uh, tell you that the four eggs were in there, but again, the recipe will be posted in the comments so you'll get to see it down below the video. And it is four eggs and you let that mix very well, one egg at a time. And as you can see, it's mixing up very nicely, very creamy. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour it into the bunt pan and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. Remember to preheat your oven to 350 
and you let this bake for about 55 minutes depending on your oven temperature so check it after about 50 minutes but um, after it's done I'll be back and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like and maybe even taste a piece for you okay we're back now we're going to make the uh, actually pure lemon frosting and what we're going to make is um, with the lemon juice from freshly squeezed lemons please remember don't go to the store and buy that green bottle of lemon juice because it totally does not have the same flavor but what we're going to do here I have this little juicer you can use the uh, orange juicer the one you use for orange juice that's perfectly fine but I've used this one right here and what you're going to take is two lemons cut that in half squeeze as much as you can out of the lemon into that container and it will catch all of your seeds as you can see I've got a little strainer in there it'll catch all of your seeds in there and then we're going to take the other half and squeeze that one all of the juice all you need is actually when you squeeze the juice from these two lemons it will equal uh, approximately six tablespoons of lemon juice freshly squeezed lemon juice when you get done squeezing the two lemons now what I do to make sure I get all of the juice out take that half a piece put it down in there Aha! <laughs> it wants to run away on me that doesn't usually happen hold it down and just give it a good squeeze and all the rest of the lemon juice that you didn't get We'll go right into that little cup. Make sure you turn it over to the side. Put your other half in there. And just give it a squeeze. Make sure you get all the juice out. That had a little bit more than the other one. And that's it. You got all your juice out. What that's going to equal, remember, is two tablespoons. It may be a little bit more. If it's a little bit more, that's okay. Okay, here's my six tablespoons. Now we're gonna turn that on. I turned it up high because all we're gonna do is just let that get kind of warm. And I forgot my spatula. So I'm going to use my uh, teaspoon measurer. Let that get just a little bit warm. And remember, all you want to do is just melt this powdered sugar. And once you melt the powdered sugar, you're going to immediately pour it over that lemon cake, the hot lemon cake, right out of the oven. And it is just melting your mouth good. So we're going to pour that in there. I don't want to hold you here very long. So i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let that get warm. Remember, you do not want that to boil. You just want it a little bit warm so your powdered sugar will melt right in the lemon juice. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now that juice is nicely warm. Remember, do not let that come to a boil. You just want it warm, warmed enough where when you add your powdered sugar, it will melt and dissolve right in there. Make sure you get all the powdered sugar out and just stir it it will completely dissolve and the amount of powdered sugar is simply eight ounces of powdered sugar six tablespoons of pure lemon juice and eight ounces of powdered sugar let that come to more and it only takes that if you should put that on high immediately let it warm for a couple of minutes and it's perfect temperature for dissolving that sugar as you can see Stir that and continue to stir that and continue to stir that until all the little powder pieces are all dissolved. And it only takes about a minute to dissolve every bit of that. Come over here, Larry, and you can see where that's practically completely dissolved. Let that lemon juice come to a warm and it is completely dissolved. Okay, you can remove it from the heat now. And remember, do not use the green lemon juice in the bottle. It's totally not the same. When you take your lemon cake out of the oven, pour it immediately over your warm lemon cake. And it just dissolves right over on top of it. It'll flow down the sides. And it is absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm back for the final part of the uh, famous State Fair winning lemon cake. 
uh, what I wanted you to see is, if Larry can take a picture in here, uh, when you heated the lemon, just barely heated it and mixed the powdered sugar in there, it's really thin like, so it's not going to be thick where you frost like a cake. And the only thing you do as soon as you take it out of the oven, and I just took it out of the pan, look how golden and beautiful that is. Just take your uh, lemon frosting and drizzle it over the top. And that's all you do. And that's, mmm, I love the taste of that. But what I'm gonna do real quick, it's still kind of warm, but I'm gonna cut a piece and then we're gonna see how it tastes. So hang on one second. Let me grab me a really quick knife. I haven't had one of these lemon cakes in a while, so I'm just really wanting to try it. Oh, I love the, mmm. That is so good. I'm sorry, I didn't get a saucer. I gotta grab a saucer real quick. Mm. Now, I'm gonna take a piece of that out. Ooh. See how moist and juicy the um, jello mixed in there helped that turn out? That is so good. That is delicious. And my my niece Carrie will be stopping by shortly to pick up her half the pound cake. Thank you guys.